Hey everyone, welcome back. An ongoing investigation. The case has been reopened. This route that was previously locked away due to lack of information has now unlocked itself. We have gathered enough new information to now go on this path. I'm Alpha, and thank you for joining me on this journey. I do hope that we get more answers because last episode while Oda's family was wonderfully reunited and their bonds were strengthened we now understand a little bit more gruesome details for example Iris took the kitchen knife away from Ayumi that said knife stabbed Oda and was left at the scene of the crime because the polar bear had it hmm but why did Iris take the knife in the first place? The second grisly detail was more sinister because our autopsy team, they revealed something really, really nasty. It looks like Renju was forced to eat Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Ew, gross, I know. But I called it symbolic because I like to think there's something against that family. Mizuki's parents, okay, yes, they were involved in a lot of terrible things with the Kumakuras. But you got to understand, there's so many reasons now, because of Mizuki's root, I figured out, that you can hate them. <laughs> They're terrible parents. Someone who figures that out, of how they treated Mizuki. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make, first, I'm going to kill Shilko. But then, I'm going to take the eye and, and make the husband, Mizuki's father, eat it. Because he's such a jerk and he needs to just eat it. You know, like, you get what I'm saying? There's, there's a lot of motivations. That's just one uh, more like a just narcissistic and irrational rage. Because they're just bad parents. But this could be just some gang, Kama, Kumakura, unfinished business, right? Why they died. And I'm just saying this to say this, right? We know Renju and Shoko weren't great people. But the, the way that detail comes out, that was personal. You don't just, you know, take someone's eye that you just murdered and make someone else eat it. That's personal. That's, that's really deep. A lot of hate behind that. So, let's begin this new investigation. Proceed. Jut I, J U T I. Like I'm. It could be something in Japanese, and I don't know it. I know I means love in Japanese, which is a big centerfold of this game, right? I guess what I mean by centerfold is like every focal point, a major focal point in the game is just something that has to do with love. Kagame, hey, what up, my G? Man, that's depressing. Have you settled down? Aiba, what's the meaning of life? I don't know, but a boy has the right to dream. What lies ahead of him remains unknown. Hmm, that's deep, Aiba. Thank you. It was one of the Toonami promos back in like the early 2000s. Hey, Date, what? You're just gonna keep running away? Just keep running away? I'm not running. <laughs> the scene is being inspected without you. They don't need me, Aiba. I don't need me. Does anyone need good old Date? Maybe I should just jump in this river. No, Date. You mustn't. This time the body didn't disappear. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, but 
if I remember correctly, they did some Houdini stuff and stuffed it inside the forklift. How do you do that? How much time did they spend doing that? However, you lost consciousness. Oh, that explains why the root got locked, huh? Yeah. I didn't expect you to faint. What are you trying to say, Aiba? What are you trying to say? Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. Well, I do remember Date screaming, "No!" Something like that. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. Okay, I but we can not go down this route of me not being able to stomach the murder of someone I really care about. I suppose humans are unpredictable. AIs are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. Eh. <sighs> I appreciate what you're trying to do, Iba. Your compassion program, eh, it almost works. But I don't wanna. What are we put on this earth to do? You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Mere words cannot express the emptiness I feel right now. My day is ruined. And my disappointment immeasurable. I cannot go on like this. Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. All I have are negative thoughts, Aiba. You always ask the same questions, and I give you the same answers. Thinking that Iris died because of me. If I never took her to Ota's, this wouldn't have happened. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. I don't understand your analogy at all. Please tell me why would I think of beautiful flowers at a time of murder? And don't tell me some psycho or life stuff because, you know, who's gonna, you know, replenish the cycle of life? Iris is dead. She had so much more to live for. Hopes and dreams, Iris. Iba. Oh, look at that. I can't even say your name because I'm thinking of Iris. What? You're talking now. Because you are so weird, Eyeball, right now. It's like you're compassionate, but then you're also sarcastic. Throwing a little of a pep talk, and I'm trying to understand what are you trying to motivate me. Was I correct? No. If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? You know, Aiba, if I pluck my eyeball out, which is you, and throw it, you know, across this uh, river, how many times do you think it will skip? Fine. Okay, but seriously, Aiba, what's wrong? Like, you're, you're encouraging, but at the same time talking down on me. Allow me to pluck some of those dandelions from your mind. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Okay, you know, plucking is not a good word to use in this situation, plucking. Um, because eyeballs are being plucked. So, um, stop. <laughs> I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. Fine. The three questions test. First question. cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. So? But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. 
Preserve the body. Why is that? Preserve the body. Keep it on ice. Because that the body was transported here. To preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Okay, Aiba. By the way, I am smarter than a fifth grader. Second question. There was something strange about the corpse. The eyeball being plucked out or the way it was folded? Hmm. Do you remember what that was? Okay, okay. I have two options. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. That is a unique factor. But not THE unique factor. But there was something else. Something more peculiar. Okay, so I technically wasn't wrong. Kinda like the SATs. It's not the best answer. The culprit was afraid that the body would be discovered, so they hid it under the hood. But why there? Why hide it at all? The ocean is right here. I didn't think that dark. I was just thinking about like, you know, in previous moments when Iris died, bodies not even hidden. Right? Here is like, I gotta stash this away somewhere. And let's be even grimmer here. Body sinks to the bottom of the ocean. No way to preserve it. No way to keep it safe. No way to get it back. That's what I'm thinking. Where you hide it away. Because you don't want us to find it. And they're gonna come back for it to preserve, they make it a scene. See, because like, there's always an art of showmanship with these kills. The first one with Shoko on the horse, tied her up. But why? Because that's a, sh a, a moment that it's, it's a show of, Miz I'm going to say Mizuki. Mizuki and her memories of Bloom Park with her mom. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but there is a sense of showmanship. They, they got to display it. Boom, let's go to Renju. Displayed it with a fish hook in the mouth. And then we learned in the previous timeline, the eyeball, they made him eat it. Like, whoa, that's like a lot to take in, a lot to, to be shown to us. In this case, the display stuff hasn't happened yet. The murder did, but not the presentation. If they really wanted to hide the body, they could have put weights on it and sunk it into the water. But we do not know for certain that the culprit was attempting to dispose of the body. There is something more unusual. Really? Because, I mean, that seemed unusual. It can't be completely frozen, right? But then again, covered by the cloth seems so, like, and so. <laughs> completely frozen? Iris's body was completely frozen. Because, I mean, she just told us the temperature was not ideal for completely frozen. The temperature read negative 58. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With Iris's weight. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Okay, okay. Because I was about to say something. Before you draw your conclusion, 
Allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. Why? Uh, she gave me a alternate timeline theory. And you know, I have no reason to doubt that. But... Is there anyone that looks like Iris in this game? Um, you know, the top one up and my right, which is the corpse was a hallucination. Isn't that the same conclusion then? I mean, because you're saying Iris is actually dead. The corpse is a hallucination. Still, they're both dead. Um, first, let me go with. I, let me go with what. I was gonna say, like, haha, nice try, Date. You didn't really save her because, in my mind, Iris wasn't really dead the first time. Because we saved her. We saved her in So Somnium. Date, think logically. Yeah, okay, fine. But I was a hero. What occurs in dreams does not affect reality. Never have, never will. And parallel worlds? What? It sounded like a good theory. That is even less possible. Ah uh, yes, now I remember this route a little bit more. This is uh, fighting logic versus uh, belief. Like, logic will tell you one thing, but if you believe something, you will ignore logic. So if that's the case... Okay, okay. That means Iris was really alive the first time. You mean... The first time I saw her, Iris wasn't really dead. You've got it. But this time, she's dead. I bolted into the warehouse like I was shot out of a gun. Maybe she's not dead this time? Huh. I don't know which one is real and which one is not now. But I'm gonna guess the first time we saw her, that was just on an act. Body. X-ray. X-ray of the body. What am I looking at besides the body? I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. Oh. I feel awful because Iris was denied a chance to be a mom, but then again, she didn't have much to live because of the whole brain tumor. So, is this a, her choice that she wanted to die? But then, why the whole eyeball thing? But, well, I can understand someone's motivation. Um, is this a, you know, bad pregnancy? Like one that ain't supposed to happen? I mean, how? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. Oh, well, thank God. 
no unborn baby died. You mean after she was killed? No, the fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. I do have two questions. One, how did she have time to, you know, with her idol career and all, to, you know, have the intercourse? I would imagine doing live streams and singing and podcast, busy girl. Heh, <laughs> busy girl indeed. Second question. Who would be as romantically involved with Iris like that? We don't know. Oda? No. I mean, he wouldn't even... I don't think he's past second base. So, you know, then you go up the ladder a little bit and be like, uh-oh. This is not a appropriate relationship. You can maybe think so, Iris kissing so in the Somnium, but sure, motivation to kill her, political guy doesn't want to be caught with, with, Iris is 16, so in Japan that's not a minor, right? It, I could be wrong about that, but you get what I'm saying, that's a scandalous, hmm, so and then Iba says killed after giving birth. So there's a shred of compassion in this situation where the baby lives. Okay. Where's that baby now though? The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. I would I don't know that. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. You know, lost in all this is like, I'm trying to like not freak out, but Iris was going to be a mom and she must have known that obviously, right? Hence some of the sneaky behavior, you know, you don't want people to know you're pregnant, you're an idol. I can imagine that being something weighing on her mind, but you know, she didn't give off any inclination that. She was upset at being pregnant, but someone obviously was, when someone didn't want her to live, and that sucks, you know? Like, the, that joyful feeling of being prego was taken away from her. In fact, it probably caused a lot of stress. And in this timeline, you know, Nisic laws, you know, we, we, we're on the idea that that's fake. You know, it's a amalgam imagination, but still, you know, like this is reality here. You know, this evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. What is it, Iba? This corpse isn't Iris. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Oopsie. And here I'm out here, you know, giving a lot of conspiracy theories and it's not Iris. See that window? Chuck it all out, what I just said, and it's out the window. It's someone else. Okay, but who is it though? The mermaid? That's the only other person that I can think can be confused for Iris here in this game. The mermaid? Which means... Iris was already dead. Who was the first Iris we saw? I am confused. Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet.
Multiple stab wounds with a single-edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Okay. This is not Iris. Cool. But why do the appearance of the eye then and stab her and... I'm, I'm trying to understand why her? Why this person? Judging by the size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. The one Iris stole. Now that brings us on Iris. Iris wanted someone dead. Perhaps. Okay. Continue. This matches what you said on Sunday. So this is the body I saw then. Iba, who is this? Unknown. <laughs> Imagine it's like, okay, lock it again, figure it out. <laughs> A Jane Doe, but it's definitely not Iris. But it looks like Iris. What a crazy plot twist! Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least ten years. Ten years? Ten years? She was killed more than ten years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. The original Cyclops killer. Who? Let's consider the clues. The scene. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night, we saw so here. And there is something else about So Sejima. We witnessed someone similar to Iris being stabbed repeatedly in So Somnium. But it wasn't Iris, it was this woman. Okay, that's a weird somnium then because so doesn't stab iris but this woman who is this woman to so oh oh if it's not related to the cyclops killer is it date's mom is it date's mom think about it i mean who <laughs> i mean this in this kind of way um who else would get stabbed eyeball taken out other than and, and and affect Date other than Date's mom, right? That is highly likely. Ma you know what? Quote Iba on that. Maybe it is highly unlikely. But ten years ago, the time frame could match. I don't know. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. Who would So kill from ten years ago? It's not one of the victims of the Cyclops killer, because that's six years ago, right? Hmm. We need more. I believe that is the case. Renju and So? Oh yeah, Renju is still alive in this timeline. I gotta keep that in mind. But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to. So, Sejima.
a pitiful corpse. Just looking at her makes my chest hurt. To the Sejima residence. Mizuki and Oda kept searching for Iris. But unfortunately, that didn't turn up anything. Iris's whereabouts are still unknown. I am worried about her, but... Without any leads, we just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It will eventually lead me to Iris. I am sure of it. With that in mind, I headed to Soul's mansion. I thought I told you. Never to show your face here again. Upon, 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 ah, if you say that enough times, you get the word upon, like once upon a time. I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? What do you mean by that? Date, look. I knew it. You killed her, didn't you? We know he's capable of murder. I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. By the way, um, another reason why I say is Date's mom is because we learned in the past timeline so is uh, Date's father. The girl gave birth to dun, 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 Date. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. Where is Renju Okiura? You know where he is, don't you? You were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two. Yeah, but what is it? Also, this connection between the two of them, it must have went sour, right? And that's not all. Number 89 called your secretary. So he knows Sosujima. The same number 89 that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly, I either get tackled to the ground or he actually pulls out a gun and, you know, goes all monologue and be like, all right, I'll tell you, but then I must kill you. All right, nope, nope. I'm going to get tackled. A gang of bodyguards stormed out the mansion. Suddenly, in an instant, they surround me. <clears throat> These guys weren't around when they uh, 
cut up So Tsujima into pieces and stuffed them into a vase. We'd like to ask you to please leave. He did say please. Date, he said please. Curse him and his politeness. So there's nothing we can do. I mean, sure. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. You know what? These predicaments, they you know, they really matter. It's all like details details but you know he did kill someone can we just like bring him in for that like get the warrant I know we can't use what we have in Somnium as actual evidence blah 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 but oh, come on we can bend the rule a little bit we would have been detained immediately who would look after Iris then Okay, fine. Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Don't guilt trip me on this, Aiba. Ah! Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Why? Why give her a name? Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? Alice. Let's go with Alice. Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. If it triggers something like a like a heartbeat, like doof doof, doof doof, then I am sold that Date, is, you know, is aware that that's his mom. All right, Alice. And also, I think if I remember correctly, isn't that a reference to uh, 999 and Alice and All Ice? I think that is a reference to 999. What about her? Someone might be able to identify her. Who do you think it is? Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Okay, I appreciate this new game of Iba asks you three questions. Again with this? I'm thinking about hosting a game show. So this is practice, Date. Let me do this. First question. I've seen this corpse more than twice. Okay, okay. So the first time we saw Iris, it was this corpse. The second time we saw Iris, it was this corpse. Three times, in fact. The third time is? When was the first time? Okay, okay. Three days ago, Saturday night when I sinked at Abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. Ha, interesting. Mizuki Somnium didn't have Iris. It was this girl, and okay, okay. Frozen girl is very important. Is the girl. And we only thought it was Iris. Okay, okay. Mistaken identity.
Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Mizuki's. So we got a question, Mizuki? Oli. Kamole. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. <laughs> How does Mizuki know Alice? And you mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy. But prophecies are nonsense. Dreams are not made of the future. They are made from the past. But Mizuki's 12. How the heck does she know someone 10 years ago? Well, give or take, she died 10 years ago. But that would make Mizuki 2. If I'm doing the math correctly there. Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday, the Kume Shrine. Why is she there? Doing her training? She better be doing her training. The Shrine? Why would she be there? No. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. I'm a floor it. I'm a go at full speed. Date, full speed was only 55. Alright, fine. I didn't want to get a ticket. The camera was right there. Date. Mizuki. Did you find Iris? If I did, I would have told you already. Right. Well, Mizuki, we have some questions, and we need them answered immediately. I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah, your dad is still alive in this timeline. That's kind of an interesting... Uh, wrinkle in this timeline. Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. It's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. He was looking for Iris. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? I mean, it could be, but then again... Iris was hiding that from us for some reason. It could be. I, I remember that, right? In her timeline where she uh, passes away, she gives us that secret. Like, yes, uh, Renju did call for me, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I was on this timeline. So I need to know where he is. But... I 
haven't been able to get a hold of him. Alright, first let's talk about your other friend. I think he's searching Akihabara right now. I think he's goofing off in Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. But what are you doing here? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here all the time. You know those steps in the front? Yes, I see them. With the church bell for prayer ceremony. We would sit there together and talk about things. Like what gluten free means and eyelash extensions and aerial yoga. And we would talk about all our problems together. You two were best buddies. BFFs. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. Which I should have called you and make sure you got home safely, but as a growing girl, I gave you your freedom and independence. I'm the cool dad. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Tell me about Alice. Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. I told Mizuki about the frozen corpse we call Alice. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories. So that corpse... Mizuki, please answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think, like, does she know who stabbed Alice? Does she know some of the dirt behind Alice in the pregnancy? Because I want to believe that she didn't die because of the baby. But that can suck. Like, it sucks a lot, right, if she did. Uh, I want to know, like, Mizuki is hiding something, but I don't think it's intentionally bad. I don't get that vibe. Huh? What do you mean? More questioning. I told Mizuki everything. About how Renju ran off with the assassin number 89. How number 89 is connected to So Tsujima. And that Sujima is linked to Alice's murder. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju and number 89. And that might lead me to Iris. So, you understand now? Mizuki looked down at her feet quietly. Quietly. I could see agony in her face. The silence lingered. Finally, she steeled herself, lifted her head, and spoke. Okay. The child has spoken the truth. I'll tell you about Alice. 
She'll tell me about Alice. It was about a month ago. A month ago. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemniscate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. I taught you all those cool ninja skills, like peeking through crack so no one can see you. Spying 101, you peek through the cracks of doors. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. Hmm. Who is this Alice person? I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. Okay, okay, I have more theories. Maybe this Alice person was someone Renju had an affair with, and uh, he acts so to you want to kill her? I don't know. This is getting confusing. But we do know that child is somewhere loose. That led me to the cold storage warehouse. So Renju went to the Okiura fishery, Mizuki followed, and... He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, quietly. Like a good assassin, I trained you to be, Mizuki. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift. And then, after a little bit, he left. I wanted to know what he was looking at. I went over to the forklift and I looked under the hood myself. And you saw the body. And th that body's been there for years. And then... They say how to hide a body, put it in plain sight. You saw Alice's dead body. You saw Alice's dead body. But at the time, I thought it was Iris. So did I. Right. What was I supposed to do? I don't know, call me. I'm the police. Daddy would have been in trouble. But I'm your daddy. Well, you know. From another timeline. Date, that's weird. And my dad is still alive. You don't have that right. Oh yeah, I forgot. We didn't bond like that yet. So you kept quiet this whole time? You know, that's unhealthy, you know, because, like, your dad possibly is involved with a murder that happened 10 years ago, and, uh, you don't sweep that under the rug, or in this case, under the forklift. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. So you lied to yourself. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Repressed memories are often the subject of somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Okay, okay. We're getting uh, new developments. Just when I thought that this story was becoming straightforward, it's becoming more of a labyrinth of who the heck is Alice?
the corpse looked exactly like Iris. I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris' house. What's wrong, Mizuki? Iris was alive. I thought I was going crazy. Oh, don't worry. I was going crazy for like, you know, a good couple of months. Like maybe three months. Or dreaming. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. I actually met with one of the higher-ups at Daddy's company last night. Okay, okay. That's new. Before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some and... I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. Okay. But then he gave that up. I can see why he gave that up, cause uh, he knows a body's in the forklift, so you gotta cut all ties. After my grandpa died, Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I guess he didn't want to let this place go. more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was... Alice. The guilt of killing someone, or at least knowing what happened. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. That's one way to look at it. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. Of course, when you're hiding a body in the warehouse. Okay, but one thing. I have one question. Did Shoko know about it? Hey Mizuki, how long was he managing the warehouse? Because now I'm starting to think maybe their divorce was something a little bit more sinister. That's what the man told me. So Tsujima is the man? So Tsujima is the man, isn't he? No, no, no. You told me there was a representative. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Iba. I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Okay, that could help. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. Okay, okay, we found something. The girl who looks like Iris. Is... 
What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. That name, um, Hitomi knows her. Hitomi knows her. Monica Ewai. Just like Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. A graduate of a Toku High School. Classmate of Hitomi, right? She knows about this murder. What? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. I get something. Iris is not Hitomi's mom. No, I said that wrong, by the way. Hitomi is not Iris's mom. Monica and Y is. They look alike. So Hitomi took care of Iris as a friendship favor. Monica probably knew she was going to die. You know, I never once questioned why Iris has pink hair, why Hitomi has brown hair. Because, you know, I thought Iris as an idol would just be like, okay, you know, I dye my hair pink or... But then again, blue eyes, brown eyes, that's way off the mark. We never seen her dad, so... But that's that's the conclusion. Come on. Monica Owai looks just like Iris. Iris looks like just like Monica. And Hitomi... I mean, like, it makes sense. That is scandalous. That could be something you would have to talk to So about. The actual father of Iris, perhaps. Hmm. We've known each other for 20 years now. This theme is so weird. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Alice's... Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Hmm. We gotta question Hitomi hard. She knows why she died. It's not like, oh no, it's a tragedy that they killed my friend. I think she knows why Monica died. Iba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Well, we're gonna catch MPD up to speed, man. We're gonna get them, you know, informed and we're gonna question her for a totally different reason. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to Abyss. Oh, we're gonna sink with her. Roger that. Maybe question, then sink. The police headquarters. You're awfully calm. You know, at this point, I interrogated 
everyone and their family members. Like I interrogated Iris. I interrogated, and I'm going to interrogate her mom. I interrogated Oda. I interrogated his mom. I'm just interrogating family trees, man. If Renju was here, I would interrogate him. But anyway, that is a good point. This is a great point to uh, catch up for our next episode. A good cliffhanger. Because she's calm. And we know her backstory. Her, or at least we know that her friend died. And she has something to do with it. Oh man. And, and this is something I was not bargaining for at all. At all. Okay. The fact that Hitomi has like a deeper storyline <laughs> woo! that is just so much for me to handle right now i i didn't realize she'd be this important okay so this is catching me off guard and this is i call it the iris route but it's a lot deeper than just iris herself it's her family history so with that being said what history do you guys think it's more important now, right? The history of like Renju and like his family or Iris's or, or Hitomi's family history. Like what what's more important in this whole timeline or like what what's higher value right now? Cuz you know, Renju's family history is is just kind of like interesting as well. The whole fishery their friends oh man anyway this is me signing off i was rambling a little bit thank you for listening to that if you did i'll see you next time have a great day or night later